Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market and today we're just going to do a quick video on three to five safer stocks to be investing in for a long term. All right, so not to keep the intro too long, we're going to go right into it with Berkshire Hathaway as our first stock, $319 per share. All right, now a lot of people get this stock mixed up with the Berkshire Hathaway BRK.A, which is about a half a million. And a lot of people are like, oh, I can't own Berkshire Hathaway. They cost too much money. Well, you can see that this pattern follows the same one as this one here. It's the same exact stock. Actually, if you scroll down, you can see that the CEO is still Warren Buffett, founded in 1839, about 360,000 employees. So it's the same stock. BRK.B is the first one at only $319 per share. However, I'm waiting for a dip closer to 270, 280 to be loading up a little bit heavier. Anything under $300, I'm definitely picking up for the long term. And again, if we go to that more expensive one, that's almost a half a million, you can see the same exact pattern that it followed for the last five years. So it's tied directly to the stock. BRK.A is the more expensive one. And again, if you check it out, you can see the CEOs are all the same. Mr. Warren Buffett, it's the same date founded and everything is exactly the same. The PE ratio is the same. And the PE ratio is only an eight right now. So it's implying that even at an all time high, it is a good deal. So just to scroll down on the cheaper one, you can see the same thing is implemented. Now with Berkshire Hathaway, if you wanna own BRK.A, that's fine as well, because remember, you can buy fractional shares now. If you wanna own a fractional share of BRK.A, that's also an option for you. Now the next one is a stock that holds its value very well. It's it's Verizon, okay? And I have around $5,000 in Verizon. It doesn't move much. As you can see in the past five years, only gone up like 5%, 7%. So you're not at a huge risk of losing money, all right? In the last two years from its uh, from its all-time high to where it's at now, it's only down 12% when other stocks are down like 30, 40, 50. So this is a good stock that's not gonna move much. And what the, the true benefit behind this one is also it's a dividend stock. Okay, so it's gonna store your va value really well. Remember, this is not financial advice, it's just my opinion, but there's a good chance you will not lose money with this stock if you're a long-term holder, you plan on holding for five years because the dividend is 4.6% per year and it doesn't move too much. It's gonna be a good store of wealth against inflation and also a nice dividend at the same time. And it's also in between the 52-week uh, high and the 52 week low right now. So it could be a good idea to pick up some of these shares. You can also see the PE ratio is only at a 10 right now. So it's implying that it is a good um, value right now for long term investors. Personally, I'm buying anything under $55 per share, but I want to load my bag a little bit more below $50 per share. Probably buy another $3,000 worth if it does go below $50 per share, which would be a 10 percent downward movement which would be a big downward movement for verizon after that we have visa to talk about okay this is going to be one that doesn't move too much but it's more growth than verizon in the past three months it's actually up eight percent while a lot of other stocks that i'm sure are in your portfolio are down considerable amounts Okay, 30%, 40%. So something like Visa can store wealth pretty well as well. In the past year, it's been as high as about $50 per share, was up around 17%, and as low as $193 per share. So under $200 per share, I think, is the sweet spot for Verizon. And you can also see this one's more of a growth story compared to something like Verizon because we can see it's up 147% in the past five years. Okay, now you can see I have $1,300 in this one. We had an upcoming dividend. Um, and you can see it has a PE ratio of 37. So it is valued a little bit higher, but it's one of the biggest credit card processing. It actually is the biggest credit card processing company in the world at about a half a trillion dollar market cap. I think it could be a little bit overvalued. I want to see that PE ratio under 30 before I start buying much more of Ryzen. I'm comfortable with my position for long term. You know, all these stocks on this list, you're not going to want to touch for at least two to five years or longer. 
because they're a good way to store wealth, especially against inflation. And there's a good chance that you won't lose money on these stocks over the next two to five years if you plan on long-term holding. Also, a lot of these stocks on this list are gonna be good ones that you can put into like a Roth IRA or even a 401k as well. So the next one up is gonna be an ETF and a lot of people don't know how to invest in the S&P 500 or want to and find it very difficult. If you're on Webull, Robinhood, or basically virtually any app, you can just type in SPY and that's gonna be an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. As you can see in the past three months, it's very similar to the S&P 500, down 5% in the past three months. And if you kind of want to read about it too, you can read that little sentence there. And what's in the, the, the holdings, you can see sectors 25% technology, just like the S&P 500. And here you can see the top 10 holdings, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, um, Google, Google again, Tesla, Nvidia, Berkshire Hathaway, Facebook, and United Health. So it's a good one to average into for long term. It also has a dividend yield of 1.3%. This one you should know and love. It should be a cornerstone of any long term investor's portfolio to dollar cost average. You definitely don't want to time this one. Don't time the market, buy the market. I always tell you guys all the time. That's for the long term investing side of things. And you can see that this one was below $400 plenty times in the past. So ideally I do wanna buy this one closer to $400 per share, but because it's heavily weighted in Apple and Microsoft and Amazon, there's a good chance that it's not gonna go down much further unless we see a crash in mega cap companies. Okay, let's talk about one more ETF that you guys should know about. It's VTI, which is the total stock market fund. This one in the last three months is down 7% because it's more of the stock market as a whole, okay? And you can see in the past year, it's up 9% and was up to 20% at one point as well. This has been a consistent gainer. It's gonna be very similar to SPY. There's probably gonna be a little bit more risk involved with this one. However, if you do some research in VTI, this stock, if you look at like the last 80 years or 100 years or something like that, it's actually performed one of the best out of all the other ETFs as well. Again, this one has 25% technology with the top holdings. Apple, more Apple than the last one. Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Tesla, Nvidia, Berkshire Hathaway, Johnson & Johnson. So it's very similar, but a little bit different. It's an alternative. And those are two of my favorite ETFs, by the way. Coca-Cola is one of the biggest beverage companies in the world. There'll probably always be Coca-Cola products for the next at least 50 years, if not longer. In the past three months, they're up 16%, while majority of the stock market is down considerably. They're up 25% in the past year, and they're close to all-time highs. Now, personally, I have price alerts set below $50 per share to buy into Coca-Cola, so I'm pretty much being patient for to see it closer to $50 per share. I think this one will at least have a pullback to like, $55 per share or a little bit lower. That PE ratio is 27. So we wanna see that a little bit lower, especially with something like um, Coca-Cola stock. Now you'll see the dividend yield is nice on this one, 2.6% bonus on the dividend yield. This is a company that's been around forever. It's founded in 1886. What else can we say about this one? You guys all know them, you love them. This is also one of Warren Buffett's biggest positions. I also wanna pick two or three of these stocks on this list to do a deep dive in. So comment below or message me on Instagram which ones you guys wanna see a deep dive in. You can also see they've been getting less profitable over the last three quarters. Their next earnings is on April 19th. So hopefully they'll fall under $55 per share and closer to $50 per share at that time. EM Chase, one of the biggest franchises, banking companies and the oldest franchise banking companies in the world. All right, one of the biggest banks in the world. They're all over the place. In my opinion, they will be around for the next 20 to 50 years, maybe even the next 100 years, okay? It's really hard to say though, especially with all the cryptocurrency taking place, the next 10 to 20 years can be extremely shocking for the banking industry, but I think JPM and Bank of America are two of the banking companies that will be able to adapt and stay around for the long term. Okay, so in the past three months, we see them down 9% with the stock market overall. And in the last year, we've seen them up around 12% and now they're pretty much at a 52 week low. So it could be a good buying opportunity. 
Back in um, 2020, we saw them under $100 per share when I was loading up on them. Personally, I want to see them under $130 per share to load up much more. But we see a P.E. ratio of only 9, implying they're a smoking deal right now with a dividend of 2.5. So even at under $150, if you plan on holding for at least 5 years or putting in your Roth IRA, I can be, think could be a good idea. And remember, that doesn't mean... When I say hold for two to five years, that doesn't mean hold for two to five weeks and then it drops to like 130, 125. And then you message me on Instagram and say, hey, are you still holding JPM? I saw it drop to 125. Of course, I'm still holding. That's my plan. I don't sell out of a stock that I plan to hold two to three years just because it fell like 10 to 20 percent. If anything, that implies more buying will happen. Okay, so I hope this video was extremely helpful for you guys. And we went over a lot of different stocks, but we went over some fundamental strategies for long term investors and people who are extremely is serious about the stock market over the next two to five years. At least I think one, two or three of these stocks from this list should be in your portfolio if you're a long term investor. Personally, every single one that we talked about on this list, I probably have at least $3,000 or more in all i ask is a thumbs up on this video if you guys greatly appreciate this content now's the time that you're going to want to be buying stocks for long-term investing there's a huge 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 opportunity in the mar in the stock market right now and you don't want to be sitting on your hands and twiddling your thumbs and not buying stocks you want to make sure you're entering the right stocks at the right time so message me on instagram because i have a full training course also have one-on-one -on -one coaching so if you ever looking at a stock and you want to bounce your stock idea off me just you can always message me and i'll go over an analysis of that stock with you as well that's the benefits of being on my close friends list if you want to see my website and look through my website see the offers the details message me on instagram i'll shoot you over my website so you can check that out lastly if you're following me on my crypto page i'm doing a huge giveaway right now um, three of these NFTs I'm going to be giving away the Unirexities. So follow me over there, comment on five of my posts, share with five of your friends and message me with proof and you'll be entered into the giveaway. All right, guys, share this with a friend, share this video with a friend. If you think they'll find it helpful, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.